What's going on guys? So good to finally, finally be back on the bike. Um, honestly, I've been a little AFK, you know, I've been gone for a little bit. I, I haven't been riding too much. I've only going, I've only been going to certain events or a little riding uh, meetups. And even then they're not really ride along. So just kind of like hang out and mingle. But I wanted to give you guys a full update on what mods I want to be doing to this amazing bike. Um, but we'll talk a little bit about that once we get to our little uh, view spot um, a little bit north. Don't come. Yeah, no car is cool. Um, over there by downtown is where you know I'll stop and we'll take a little break and I'll talk about the bike and what I want to do to it. Uh, but right now, we're going to the Volkswagen dealership because I'm actually in need of... I am totally in the wrong place. I'm in some need of wheel locks because someone stole my wheel for those that watched that video so we're running some errands oh thank you but yeah it's essentially what i'm talking about for those that don't really know is these uh bits right here these are caps covering the actual lugs but um i need to get the little lock so I can replace one of those with, with a lock because as I mentioned in one of my previous videos someone stole two of my wheels. I have a special edition uh, GTI, a Wolfsburg edition from 2013. So from what I was told those are hot wheels where they like to take them because they're a little harder to come by right now and yeah I was victim to it. So we'll see. Guys that was absolute record time fastest i've ever been in and out and they actually had a, a set of used ones i was gonna get new ones but they were like a hundred dollars like 196 before tax but i just got the new i mean the used ones for 40 bucks and they look brand new so why not save that much money right that was quick i was in and out in five minutes that's a first uh but now let's go ahead and go talk about the bike but for that, we're going to go and show up in downtown. So instead of having you guys come with me on the entire highway ride, we can just go ahead and do this. Bam! <laughs> I have no idea how smooth that was. This is the first time I ever do it. But there's definitely a lot of things I need to do to this bike. Uh, starting with uh, um, headers right headers uh, I haven't decided fully on which ones to go with so if you guys want to comment go ahead and, and let me know uh, but and also an ECU flash so the options that we have for that is obviously uh, Brent tuning has and is very well known for their s 1000 R flash right uh, and if I go that route I was thinking about doing the whole stage one and stage two um, probably all in one go and that would be right after installing the new exhaust for the bike now my second option that i'm highly considering is having it flashed by someone that works at the bmw dealership here in san diego uh the motorcycle dealership that is of course uh this individual who has his own flash is also the guy that flashes all of the uh, bmw race team uh pro bikes which one do i plan on going with i don't know yet I might just end up doing the brand tuning because I'll have my own handheld. I'll be able to revert back to stock without having to go to the dealership. Okay y'all, so a couple of things I've done to the bike already is uh, switched out the windshield for the Pew, Puge, Pewy, I don't know how you say it, double bubble. Uh, I went with the TST Industries to be able to move this uh, block, this, the you know, the fender eliminator. And I went with the lights, I went with the license plate room, uh, shift with the light right there. Obviously I added a lot of crash protection uh, to the wheels, the spools, the sides for the fairings. Uh, this was stock already. Um, and then for the front axle as well uh, but now like the two things I had mentioned to you guys on the way over here let's give you guys a better view look at that so what I want to be able to do is 
to go ahead and remove the stock exhaust. Uh, I'll leave the can, it's an Acropava can that came with the bike, uh, and I'm thinking about going with either uh, Austin Racing full exhaust, which would mean removing the can, or doing the just the Acropavic, uh mid-pipe header combo. Uh, and just see how that sounds. So I'll probably do that because I will save a lot of money keeping that can. If I don't like the sound of it just yet, I will switch out that can for a different Acropovic one. Um, secondly, the flash, as I said, either brand tuning, which I will most likely go with both stage one and two. And then there's also the BMW flash that they have for the racing team. We'll see, I'll, I'll weigh the, the differences. I'll go back and I'll fill you guys in on what it is to have the BMW racing one from the dealer, depending on what they say. Now, other things I want to do would be carbon. Now, not twill or twill, twill, I don't know how you say that word either, but forged carbon. I loved the forged carbon look on this bike. My friend Rashawn, he had wrote forged carbon on his bike as well. But what I essentially want to do is anything that's black plastic, like here, so this whole strip, this really long strip that goes from the tank down to the seat, um, this back plaque, uh, plastic, uh, this uh, seat cowl as well, uh, the t rear tire hugger with the chain guard, and this big black piece right here, I would have to uh, replace with forged carbon from uh, the people at RPM Carbon. Uh, I think they're the only ones that sell it at a reasonable, reasonable slash cheap, in my opinion, price. Um, it's a little less expensive to order it through them, but honestly, like seeing it up close and in person, it looks really nice. And from what I've been told, the fitment is of no issue. Um, and then, um, let me see here. So I'll replace those. I was thinking about maybe getting rid of some of these stickers and replacing them with the M1000RR color scheme because I do personally like there being the triple coloring more so than just the two uh, just the one blue and one red instead of the double blue shades and one red but we'll see guess how much this whole entire sticker color scheme guess how much it cost from bmw you know like these side stickers this front this on the sides the rear guess how much it is write it comment it yeah you got it good okay two thousand dollars for stickers two thousand dollars for just these little cutouts which is insane okay well, hold on two thousand for the m1000 color scheme for this one these are one thousand six hundred dollars save you 400 bucks right there but yeah it's insane right now what else do i want to do i want to remove the passenger pegs because my fiance hates that little seat so she won't be riding with me too much and i do want to remove the mirrors i want to go ahead and go with the rizoma mirrors right the ones that fold out and look like little winglets and um, and then i would be shifting these blinkers not for the ones that are right here i forget who they're from but i would hate to replace all of this with carbon just to have a cheap 3d printed black plaque or, or bracket right here for the turning signal and i also hate how it looks right there so i will go with rizoma's own uh uh product and they actually get moved to be right underneath right here i can't really show you guys with the camera but they go right where these screws are right underneath the lights so you'll be able to see them from the you know facing facing the bike um i'll probably also end up getting rid of this all the reflectors um, and lastly uh, probably levers as well there's some levers I really like that are full carbon they're really light they probably come up to this break point as well which I really like rear sets I don't plan on changing just yet of course we're gonna go with the Louis Moto custom seat and lastly what else winglets I don't know. I don't know, guys. Maybe you guys can tell me your guys' opinions, the benefits or not. But adding forged carbon winglets to my bike, I would have to drill into the white plastic. But, the th there, you know, it looks cool and all, but I also really like how sleek and slim the bike looks. If we had those, it would, you know, they would come out just past or up to the line of, of where the handlebars are, handlebars. So I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that, to be honest. Um, so if you guys want to go ahead and with that go ahead and comment it um, I also do have the radiator guards 
right up front that were also installed. Um, but yeah, that's that's mainly it. Those are the mods I really want to go with on the bike, at least for now. Um, I don't plan on switching any of the electronics out, any of these uh, switches or the, you know, the, the uh, besides the levers, nothing on the handlebars. Um, but I guess the only other thing I would go ahead and change would be the color of the tires. Because I this bike doesn't have carbon fiber rims, for those that don't know. It came with these M-forged uh, wheels. So, you know... I personally myself am a huge fan of this bronze coloring that's on the frame and on the engine covers. So what if what if we powder coated the front and the back wheel to match the frame? How would that look? How do you guys think that would look? If we made the front tire and the rear tire and we painted it the same color as the engine cover? and as the frame it looked clean right maybe what do you guys think i'll probably have to do some photoshop uh and paint the wheels to see how they would look but besides that i think that'd be it i think that would be everything i would do to the bike um i love how it is now i'm getting so much more conf uh, comfortable and confident on it now that i have a, a suit as well so in that in my absence i was gifted a full race suit by a family member so I'll be posting more riding videos and cornering and all that stuff. So, yeah, let me know, guys. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think would be great to add to this bike. If I missed anything, go ahead and link me or, or let me know and I'll look it up. But uh, there's a lot of things coming to this bike. Hopefully, you guys stick around to be able to enjoy and see the transformation of this amazing machine. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave you guys with the amazing USS Midway image before we go ahead and call it a day. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate you guys staying around. Ride safe. Enjoy the day. Thanks. Look at that shit. That, that floats. That floats. Like, look how big that thing is. And heavy. And it floats. Jesus. It's crazy. It boggles my mind. I love it. Absolutely love it.